In this video, this is a direct follow-up to my previous video where I explained a $1 workaround fix to Samsung's annoying DC error. So if you are having a DC error with your Samsung washer, you may want to go watch that video first, then come back here for the follow-up. I will provide a link to the video above and in the description below. After I made that video, I wasn't sure if the $1 workaround fix would last. It worked with a couple of wash loads that I tried. In that video, I said I would do a follow-up if there were other issues that cropped up. Unfortunately, there were a couple of issues that did crop up. And I am here with that follow-up video. Although I was successful in getting rid of the annoying DC error and have not seen it since, there were a couple of problems that recurred. The first one is that the tube over time does slip into the back and periodically you have to reposition it. You are going to see this later in this video where I will demonstrate how to reposition the tube. The $1 swim tube helps prevent the washer drum from vertically bouncing too much. The other problem I ran into is that when I had heavy wash loads, such as with washing several bath towels at a time, the spin cycle wouldn't complete because the horizontal and lateral load imbalance would stop the spin cycle from continuing and then kick it back into rinse cycle. Going into the spin cycle, the washer would be at the 16 minute remaining mark, but then the washer would kick the timer back up to 23 minutes remaining and then restart the rinse cycle. The only way to break this vicious circle is to pause and power off the washer to reset it. There are a few reasons for my approach, which some of you might be able to relate to. Our laundry room, where the washer is in, is in a very tight space. It isn't easy to just pull out the entire washer, flip it around, turn it around, or lay it down so that I can look at the undersides. Number two, our laundry room is on the second floor. The washer is bulky and heavy, and my fiance and I have no desire to carry the washer down the steps try to work on it and then carry it back up. Number three, I am not an appliance repair expert and I'm not comfortable tearing down and opening up an appliance to get to its guts. As such, we need a simplistic solution, even if it's not that elegant. As I make this video in 2021, our washer is now eight years old and the expense to call someone and repair our washer in addition to paying for parts, we'd be better spent buying a new washer. We don't want to throw any more money into this Samsung washer that we're using. We definitely know we are far from alone with these problems that we are having with our Samsung washer. I know because there are many articles and YouTube videos about it. So let's get around to the new workaround fix that I'm using. Similar to the last video, this workaround fix is not meant to be a permanent fix or solution. This workaround fix is simply meant to buy you more time until you decide to make permanent repairs or to replace the washer with a new one, as we plan on doing at some point in the future. This workaround fix to stop the recurring spin-rinse-spin-rinse spin, rinse cycle is finding a thin, worn-out pillow and shoving it under the top cover frame. You not only have to get it under the top cover frame, you are trying to shove part of the pillow between the washer drum and down two different spaces of the washer. In my example, I have chosen the front right corner to shove the pillow into. I am pushing the pillow under the top washer frame and into both the front and right empty spaces under the top washer frame. What you're trying to do is prevent the drum from moving too much horizontally, which will be left and right, and laterally, in this case, front and back, when you have a heavy wash load. Now you need to be careful. If you push the pillow too far in, the pillow could fall into the side of the washer drum, in which case you will have to lift your washer to get that pillow out. Ask me how I know. But if you don't push the pillow in far enough as the drum goes into the spin cycle, the pillow can and will pop out and fall into your spinning load. In this segment, I am going to show a video clip which quickly demonstrates both the $1 tube fix with a quick follow-up of the pillow fix, which stops the spin-rinse-spin-rinse spin, rinse problem.
So I want to hear from you and your experiences with your Samsung washer. Do you have a better fix than the ones that I brought up? If you do, please do me a favor and leave me a comment below. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like it, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.